So today I'm going to be having a quick look at a product that you probably don't recognize because normally Thermal Right products come in a brown box. But it looks like they've gone away from their completely boring packaging and they've decided to go with a black box with actual words on it other than just Thermal Right. Okay, but that's here too, obviously. And then they've actually gone with like a shiny Venomous X green sort of logo-y thing. Okay, whatever. This is a CPU cooler. It is for Intel socket 1366, 1156, and 775, so it is completely up to date in terms of the CPUs it supports. And this is the successor to the famous or infamous or whatever it is, the legendary Ultra 120 Extreme. So this is what Thermalright is saying is going to beat it handily. So let's have a look at what is included in our accessory pack first. This is a nice box, actually. Look, it's all thermal raid on the inside. It's even black on the inside. That looks that looks great. Okay, so accessories. All right, it comes in a nice little assembly package. Look at that. So it includes... How exactly does this work? Okay, so it includes... You know what? I'm not going to bother taking this out because I think it should be pretty straightforward. But we've got one... Okay, actually, maybe it's not that straightforward. Yeah, I better take this out. Okay, hold on. If I can figure out how this baggie comes apart, then I would uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, no, I got it, I got it. Oh, no, I don't got it. You know what? Let's pull out the instructions and go from there. Oh, I have a knife now. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look at the instructions first. That might make life simpler. Okay, so here's how it works. You have a multiple support backplate, so that has 775, 1156, and 1366 holes. You put these uh, thumb screws onto it, and then from there, you install the anchoring bracket mount, okay? And then you have littler, like, thumb nuts that go onto those screws that we applied before. So I guess that goes on top of the board. Yeah, yeah, so these spacers first. So the backplate is alone, then these spacers, then this is on top of the spacers, and then this holds it down. And then you use the pressure adjustable mounting plate. And this is one of the big innovations they've made with the Venomous X because a lot of people were able to get better performance out of the Ultra 120 Extreme by actually adjusting how tight it mounted down on the CPU. So now they're just building that functionality right in so you can adjust it. Okay, and then you use the standard thermal right fan clips in order to mount the fan. And let's see, yeah, we've got a diagram right here of exactly how all of that works. So you can see this is is going to be the motherboard surface here and then you've got your little nuts and then you've got your hold down plate so it's all nice and chrome and shiny on the top and then the back plate is just a, a standard sort of black all right and there's the the adjustable knob for the mounting pressure okay so let's keep moving next we've got a thermal right sticker for your case or your wall or wherever you want to put it next we've got an assembly package Oh, this is just contents to make sure you can do a double check before you get started that everything is there. Oh, they even include a little wrench for tightening the uh, adjustable mounting pressure thing. That's pretty nice. All right, then we've got a piece of foam, and then we have the coveted Venomous X itself. Nice and protected in there. It's a very nice box. Sorry, I know I'm kind of harping on the box, but it's, uh, I approve. Okay, so they've changed the look of it a little bit from the Ultra 120 Extreme. First of all, okay, the first thing I notice is that you've got little, um, little jutting out pieces of metal, okay? So that gives you a little bit... Can you really tell what... It looks kind of weird, but all it is is it's a different shape from the top down. Okay, they've got the same thing that they were doing before where the one side uh, tips up and the other side tips down, and I'm, I believe that is to create more turbulence as the air is flowing through the heat sink, which means more, more, uh, more surface contact between the heat sink and the air and more heat exchange. All right, so let's have a look from the side. You can see what I mean here, where you can see that on this side, they point down, and on this side, they point up, okay? Oh, the cameraman's checking out these six heat pipes that go down one side and then up the other side, and then the Thermal Right logo that you've got on the top. Thermal Right's never been about, like, you know, weird plastic shrouds or anything like that. They go with a simple, elegant look, and I do really, really like it. Nice and shiny. All right, and then we'll have a look at the other side, which basically looks like the first side that we looked at. Okay, so let's keep moving on from there. So there you have it. 
They've jammed as many heat pipes as they realistically possibly can into as small a space as possible. Now we don't have heat pipe direct touch with this particular heat sink, but uh, personally I've yet to see any evidence that that actually improves things on its own. Um, you're far better off with a, with a well-engineered heat sink that doesn't include heat pipe direct touch versus a poorly engineered one that does. And remember too that not all heat pipes are created equal. Thermalrite does use uh, a special gaseous liquidy uh, substance inside their heat pipes that other manufacturers do not and they claim it does help them conduct heat better. So let's do the obligatory finger shot here. You can see that it's incredibly shiny. That's a mere finish. You can see my hand no matter how far back I move away. If you can, yeah, you can. Yeah, you see, that's very shiny. Anyway, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Thermalrite Venomous X. Can I see you through?